Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm here to do your reading. Uh, we want to see what you should be aware of or what's coming in um, towards you over the next three months. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, North Node, or if you're cross box for Capricorn. We're going to see what is coming in for you over the next three months. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the next three months? Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the next three months? Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the next three months? Another message I'm getting your part. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the next three months? So Capricorn, over the next three months, I have Judgment, the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Tower, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Moon at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, I have one, two, three, four with this moon card I have four major arcanas out here Capricorn I feel like you just not doing what you need to be doing Capricorn I feel as though because uh, I have the judgment card out here I feel like it's your spirit guides or your ancestors, you're under judgment with them because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing or what you need to be doing. And what's crazy is I feel like you know what you need to be doing. Capricorn, you could be, uh, you could know that you need to be with somebody or do right by somebody. I feel like you know this. And it's like every time you, um, I heard rebel. You could be, every time when you rebel against a connection, against this connection, I feel like bad things happen to you or, um, because I have the tower out here. I feel like bad things happen to you because you're, it's like you purposely avoiding being with somebody. Whoever this person you avoid, you're avoiding being with. It could have something to do with their looks or the way this person dress whatever this person is into I feel like mentally you're not ready to be with this person another message I'm getting you could still be like seeing other people or having other options and stuff like that it's like you're doing everything in your power to avoid um, taking this commitment or 
being with this person. Whoever this person is. You definitely put other people before this person. And I feel like you hurt this person too. It's just that you... You don't want to... I'm not going to say you don't want to be with this person, but... Maybe you feel like it's other people out there for you. Another message I'm getting, you could be with somebody already. And whoever this person is. Because I have the moon at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, you could be noticing, um, if you're with somebody already, you could notice, like, every time when you get with this person or see this person, something bad happens to you. Or it happens to this person. And you feel like, who, who you feel like every time when something bad happens between you and this person that you're already with, you feel like it's the person that you're supposed to be with. You feel like this person has something to do with. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So Capricorns, if, if Capricorn, if you're with somebody already and you know you, you with this high priestess, you know deep down in your soul you're supposed to be with somebody else. And it's like every time you avoid being with the person that you know you need to be with or that you should be with, because you could be either with somebody already or you could be already um entertaining other options. I feel like nothing in your life goes as planned or it's always some type of problems or issues between you and this main person or it's always problems and issues between you and your other options. You feel like um, the person that you're supposed to be with, you feel like that person has something to do with shit like always falling apart for you. Another message I'm getting, you could feel like this person that you're supposed to be with. You could feel like that person is like a like a witch or a wizard or this person has uh, psychic abilities. Hell, this person could have like a, a connection with your spirit guys or something. Because I did say it's somebody's spirit guys are out here and they're disappointed in you. The thing is, Capricorn... I feel like your spirit guides, it's like your spirit guides support this person that you're supposed to be with. And then it could be people on 3D that support the person that you're already with. There's something weird going on Capricorn for, for you. Capricorn, whoever you supposed to be with. I heard arranged. This could have been like a arranged uh relationship from the heavens, from or this could be a divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flame relationship. I feel like this relationship was orchestrated from the heavens, the ethers. Your spirit guides, ancestors. They could have hooked you up with this person. But yet, it's like you're you're avoiding this person. You avoiding being with this person for some reason. And every time when you avoid this person, I feel like something bad happens to you. I feel, another mess I'm getting, your person, the person that you're supposed to be with, and your ancestors, these people are in like, a collaboration with each other or they in cahoots with each other <laughs> it's like every time when you fuck over this person it's like your spirit guides another message i'm getting your spirit guides listen to this person's prayers 
it's it's weird like i feel like it's your spirit guys okay this reading not gonna resonate <laughs> for people but over the course of the over the next three months capricorn um i feel like your spirit guides want you to be with somebody but you don't want to be with this person though Or uh, it's somebody that want to be with you and you don't want to be with them. It's something like that. Or you with somebody but you want to be single. And you could do something for y'all to break up. Because I do have the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Capricorn, um, because I have the higher fun out here. This is like higher learning. So whatever's going on out here, you definitely fucking know better. It's like you don't have no excuses. I feel like you know better. You know what you need to be doing. Another message I'm getting, you know what you need to be doing. However, Capricorn, if you with somebody, this person help you with your children. But deep down, you know you need to like several, uh, several ties. I can't even talk. You need to cut ties with this person. It's like deep down you know you need to cut ties with this person. I guess the reason why you don't want to be with this person right now because this person that you're already with or have some type of relationship with, that person, um, it's like this person benefits you on 3D. That's how you looking at the situation. Yeah, Capricorn. Um, I feel like it's several people that you're dealing with. But yet, it's like you're doing everything in your power to avoid um, facing, facing this person that you feel like is a witch or a wizard. Or that you feel is eccentric. You don't want to face this person. I feel like you're not ready for the truth. It's something that you're not ready for. You're not ready to... Um, I don't know, Capricorn. So over the course of three months, you could start making a move to cut ties with these people that you're seeing or dealing with. Over the next couple of months, you're not going to be able to sleep good at night. You're going to have insomnia. This situation with this woman... The woman that you're supposed to be with, the one that's eccentric, or this man that's eccentric, that's going to be heavy on your mind to where you're not going to be able to sleep. You're not going to be able to focus. You're going to have insomnia. It's going to keep you up late at night. I heard haunting. Uh, I feel like this woman in your spirit guides are haunting you or like fucking with you to where you can't sleep. These people, these people, this woman in your, I know this reading is weird, but I just have to give the messages. Capricorn, I don't know if you noticed already, but when shit don't go right, 
your spirit guides and this person you're supposed to be with is because of them. But eventually, I do see you, uh, I guess, doing what's right, finally doing what's right and cutting these people out. Yeah, because I have the Five of Pentacles, I have the Ten of Swords, and I have the Three of Swords. So I do see you cutting these people out. Yeah, um, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a fellow Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like every time when you hurt this woman... Or whenever time this woman cries or something like that, the woman that you're supposed to be with, the eccentric one, something bad happens to you. That's how powerful this woman is or, um, or that's how strong her connection is to your ancestors or to her ancestors. I feel like every time when this woman weep or cry or when this woman feel done wrong by you, and this woman pray, she talk to your ancestors and your ancestors say, say less, I got you. And they do something to fuck with your ass. Capricorn. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what. Yeah, Capricorn, I feel like it has something to do with another woman, too. And Capricorn, I feel like you know that the woman you're supposed to be with or a man that you're supposed to be with, you know like that person has been done wrong. Like this, you know. But yeah, you could still be leading somebody on, like having another person think like they're the one for you and... Y'all gonna have a family and this is long term. I feel like you, um, what you giving to this person, you supposed to be giving it to this eccentric person. And every time when you don't, something bad happens to you. Another message I'm getting, the reason why you're being affected by this, because this is gonna get deep. I feel like before y'all like reincarnated, you and this eccentric woman had like a soul contract to fulfill. And y'all both promised to fulfill this, this contract. But I feel like now it's like you have cold feet. Or you feel like, well, I'm fulfilling the contract, but I'm just doing it with somebody else. Another message I'm getting, you feel like why... Why do you even have to be with this person and you got somebody else anyway? Another mess I'm getting, you just don't understand why this person. And Capricorn, over the next three months, it's like every time you hurt this person, this essential person you're supposed to be with, every time you hurt them, I feel like good things happen to them and bad things start happening to you. It's like your ancestors, they steady like take, take, take from you. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be money. I heard your appearance. It's something that's being taken from you every time when you like turn your back on the person that you really supposed to be with. Yeah, Capricorn. So over the next three months. I just see you still like res resisting, um, like still resisting somebody that you supposed to be with. It's some type of it's some type of 
contract that is that's supposed to be fulfilled and you also shit like well why i can't just do that with somebody else why why her out of all people <laughs> or why him out of all people but that's all i have for this three month reading thank you bye bye